Hi and welcome to this video, my name is Dean and today we're going to take a look at Prismic and Gatsby integration. First off, I want to mention that in the last video, I forgot to tell you that you actually need ESLint extension and also the Pretia extension in VS Code. And uh, I also forgot to mention that I, I included VS Code.json file, which is just all of my VS Code settings that you can copy. And .eslint RC, I modified this file to, I modified this line and I added this line right here. And in the last video, we added Emotion and Prismic plugins. In this video, we need to set them up. So in order for us to do that, we can create a Gatsby config.js file and we can just write this. So we have our Emotion plugin and we have our Prismic plugin right here. And um, since the Prismic plugins need some options passed to it, it's an object. So we need a repository name and access token. So go create a go create an Prismic account and create a repository. So we will just call it resume test and resume test. And the good thing about Prismic is that it's free when you're only one user. So create this repository. And go to the repository and right up here in the URL, you can actually see the repository name. So just copy that and set it in repository name thing here. And now we will get the access token. So we will define the main language English as the main language and go to your settings, go to API and security, scroll down, generate an access token at this application and just scroll down again. And here you have your access token. So just go to your config and you can paste it in right here. So there is a slight problem with this approach. And that is if we push uh, this file into our GitHub repository, everyone will be able to see the access token. And we don't want that to happen. So we need to install another package called uh, .env. So npm i dash capital D dot n. Just install that package, run this command, and it will be installed under dev dependency since we specified it with dash D here. And um, we also need to write this line of code here and specify a path to a specific file. And in this case, the dot end file. And we want this access token right here. We want that to be in the dot end file. So you can write API key equals uh, this access token. Then we can go back and we can just replace this with uh, process dot dot API key. So and just save that file. And then we also need to ignore the dot end file since we don't want to push that into the GitHub repository. And uh, yeah. We can then go into Prismic again, and we can go to custom types and we can uh, create a single type. So it's best for a unique page uh, like the home page. And since we are only going to create a uh, one page like this, uh, we will choose the single type and we will just call it home page. So create a new custom type and we will drag in the title, just a title and we will call it name and name. So it will be the name field of the, of the, of the person here. And uh, just say, okay, and save it. Go back, go to content and click this button right here. And we can now write the name Dana Andrews. 
and we can save hit publish and just publish and then we can go back to our project here so let's start up the development server and we actually want to go to this URL here instead localhost 8000 um, and you can also see it uh, if you go up in the, in the terminal here and just go into that and what we can do here is actually write GraphQL queries to get some data out of Prismic so in order for us to know which uh, queries that are available to us you can just um, go to the docs which is right here and then go to the query right here and then we can scroll down and see some some fields that we can query uh, we want to query the prismic homepage and we also want to co uh, to query data uh, which is also here right here and we want to query the name and inside name we can also query text so we query the prismic homepage data name and then text and the name comes from uh, prismic right here so if we go into custom types again and uh, go right here we have like app ID uh, we set that to name so that's why it's uh, which also it's also called name inside the um, when you're making your GraphQL queries right here and also prismic homepage it's also mapped to the prismic here since we call it homepage for the custom type that's why uh, it's called prismic homepage so uh, we can just run this query and we will get the expected uh, text Dana Andrews and we can do the same thing inside our code uh, inside this page right here so I've already copied the query so it's a bit different from the graph IQL uh, so if we just paste it in right here uh, we also need to write uh, the query right here uh, so you need to import GraphQL and then you need to export this uh, page query here and what that does is that inside our uh, component you can then uh, control you can then uh, there will be a data prop available and you can then control like that so let's do that um, and just refresh and as you can see we will see our data right here and we can do something with that so we can instead of hello world we can replace it with data dot prismic homepage dot data dot name dot text uh, so let's try that and there you have it uh, that's our initial integration with prismic um, and this is it for this video I know it has been a bit hard to follow along since there was this GraphQL stuff um, but I highly recommend to search it up on Google and also just uh, play around with the github uh, repository the link is in the description and yeah thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video